Hi there, Jim here. So uh, I was in a local store a couple of days ago and I came across this cool little pocket wire gauge. And uh, you can see that, well, you can kind of see if I hold it at the right angle to the light here. Uh, it's got measurements, markers for the gauge of the wire and then the fractions of an inch and millimeters. And I said, wow, that would be a handy thing to have. The price was right, it was only $6. It came with a little pouch to keep it from getting all scratched up in your pocket, I guess, or wherever you're storing it. And so I figured for six bucks, how can you go wrong? And you know, it looks pretty decent. So I get it home and I get my handy wire here and I figured, oh, you know, I think this wire's uh, 18 gauge, so let's stick it in the 18 gauge hole. Where is the 18 gauge hole? Here it is. Oh, that's weird. It's not, it's way too loose in there. Well, 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 let's see where it goes. Okay. You know, 28 gauge. Oh, that's interesting. 30, 32, 34 gauge. Oh, that's really weird. What is going on? This thing is just a piece of junk. Well, um, it turns out, uh, I was a little clueless and I really didn't understand how to actually use a wire measurement gauge. Uh, it turns out even though, you know, wire is round and uh, the holes or the notches here are, are round, you don't use a wire gauge by sticking the wire in the hole. I know that it seems completely intuitive if you've never used one of these things before, that you want to make it fit the size of the hole. But actually, the gauge is these gaps here be from the edge to the hole. And the idea is you want to slide the wire through these gaps to determine which gap has the right fit. And the hole there is just so that once you slide it to the other side, it doesn't get stuck. So you can see this wire Right? It slides through that 16 and 18. 18 is just sort of like a very snug fit. So that sort of slides in there. Okay, it doesn't slide into 20 at all and it's loose on 16. So that's an 18 gauge wire. And I'm like, well, that's what I expect. That's an 18 gauge wire. Look at that. It actually works. Okay, so that wire is 18 gauge. Let's see what else I got here. Well, this is a phone cable, phone cord. So of course goes through the 20 pretty easily. <clears throat> this one down here at the bottom is 22. And it's a little, it's, it kind of just fits in there. You can see, but it's a snug fit. And uh, 24, it doesn't go in there. So this is a 22 gauge wire. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of what I would expect. 22 gauge wire, good. I have another one. This is what they use in uh, service closets for phones. Very fine wire. Slides into the 22 very easily. Slides into the 24 pretty well. Does not go into the 26. So I guess that's a 24 gauge. Okay, 24 gauge wire. Okay. Then I have this honking huge wire. This was used to our water heater some time ago. And uh, uh, it's a very stiff, long wire, solid core wire. If I run through here on the 8 gauge, it goes through very easily. The 10 gauge, okay, this is a, a 10 gauge wire, but it kind of gets a little stuck. This wire is probably about 50 years old. So it does fit in there on the 10 gauge, even though it's a little tight. It does kind of fit in there with just a little bit of scratches there. No way it's gonna go into the 12 gauge. And like I said, the eight gauge is just too loose. 
So this is eight gauge, 10 gauge wire, sorry. So there, there you have it. <clears throat> the way to use a wire gauge is to slide the wire through the slot on the end until you get to the slot where it's a snug fit. Now I know to anybody who's used one of these before that's watching this video, well, you shouldn't be watching it because you already know how to use this thing. But for those of you who have never used a wire gauge before, it is not the most obvious thing <laughs> that you're supposed to slide it through the slot. Hopefully this uh, short little video has helped you a little bit. Uh, Please, uh, if you found this video of any use whatsoever, give me a like. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.